Hello beautiful people, how's it all going? Hope you're all doing amazingly well. Welcome to or back to my channel. If you are new here, please look at all my other videos that I've been doing. Subscribe, comment down below, all the things that you know you need to do. So normally at this point, I would have the window closed, candles on and feeling a bit of a vibe going on, but it is way too hot to have that going on right now. It is seriously boiling today. So I apologise for any background noises like cars coming by, aeroplanes flying above. It's just one of those things, but I cannot not have my window open today. Now without further ado, let's get into today's video. I'm so excited because I am going out, out tonight. Out, 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 out. And then meal, drinks. No dancing, unfortunately. Dancing's one of the best things about a night out, but obviously with the restrictions at the moment, we cannot be going and doing that. So we'll make the most of what we can do. I'm really excited. I can't wait to get going and to show you the look that I'm planning to do today. If you haven't seen already, I did film a makeup haul last weekend and that's just gone up. So if you wanna see all the products I'll be using today, then check that out now. I'll put the link in the description below. Let's get straight on into it. And without further ado, Let's get glam. So I've zoomed in a little bit just to get a closer up of what I'm actually doing. I'm just gonna use a normal concealer for my eyes and this is the More Than Concealer by L'Oreal. I'm just gonna prime my eyes all over before we begin this adventure. I'm just gonna use a small blending sponge with a bit of fixing spray. This is by Revolution, so they're hydrating fix. Pop that all over the eyelid and blend away. I'm going to start off with the blendability factor. I don't know if that makes any sense, but basically my base eyelid makeup. And I'm going to go in with my Natural Nudes palette from Too Faced. I love this palette. It's just got some really nice colours in there and it's just really nice for when you're doing a smoky eye, which is what I'm planning to do today. Da -da -da, surprise, surprise. I am going to be using a few different palettes for my eyes. I just like dipping into different ones and just testing out different ones, that's just how I like to do it. And I'm just gonna take the first shade here, this is called Swam, and I'm just gonna blend that all over the lid, just so we start with a nice little base. I'm gonna start deepening up the crease now and starting with lighter colors and then going in a bit more darker. So I'm gonna step, I'm gonna, <laughs> I can't get my words out. So I'm gonna take this shade Seashell and start working that in the crease. It feels quite nice to do like a sit down, talking my way through makeup videos again. I did go through a period just where I just stopped doing it. I don't know why, Just it just didn't feel right. I just wasn't really feeling inspired by anything and I was getting more into my mental health videos so I just sort of kept to that. And then I've had a few months off this year from making videos, I just wasn't really feeling it. And from previous experience I've just found that if you're filming videos for the sake of it or you're not really filming it then you're not going to get the authenticity out of the filming that you want when people watch it and then just while I've had that break away I've just been thinking about oh wouldn't it be nice to just get back into makeup again and just you know be able to do that again because I love filming it I just film it purely because I like doing makeup videos I'm not a pro makeup artist I don't have any qualifications or anything in it I just do it because I love doing it and I think that's something that I've learned this year that's so important is just to do things just because you love doing them and if anything comes out from it great if not keep on doing it. So next I'm going to go in with the shade Nude down here and keep working that in the crease as well. I just find it's really nice to just build up a really nice transition shade and just from my experience and what I've learned previously just from watching other people it's just nice to just go in with different colours and then just build them all in all together. For me personally, it just gives me a really nice makeup look going on. And now I'm gonna go in with the shade Maple up here. Keep going with that blending factor. I made sure today as well that I started this early. Whenever I've gone out previously with friends and I'm like, oh, you know, what time should we start getting ready? And I'm always like, oh, well, I need to start getting ready about this time. And they're like, how do you need a few hours? I'm gonna go in with Coco as well, just to mix it up a little bit. It's not that I like absolutely need that because I can get ready in probably an hour but I just like taking my time, the opportunity to just sit down, just to have that time to just be, work on something because I love it. Because in a sense, doing makeup feels like 
you know, it's a blank canvas when you're doing painting. You can just spend ages doing it and perfecting and trying out different things or if something goes wrong, then you've got time to clean it up kind of thing. And that's why I always like having those few hours just to go forth and obviously in that time I do my hair at the same time. Just time for myself really, that's why I take my time to do makeup because people are like, oh, why does it take you that long to get ready? But I just like having the time to do it and I like being precise with my makeup. I'm just gonna go in with the first shade that I did on my lids just to work out that crease a little bit just so it's not so bold. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with Truffle, which is this shade up here. And just work that in the outer corner. It's a really good tip as well. When you are doing smoky eyes, the most important thing that I found and is a really good tip is just do little at a time. Because the worst thing you can do is pack so much on. Obviously you can always blend it out if you're somebody that doesn't do makeup too often or hasn't done a smoky eye before or you know not so many times. I just always find it's best to just start small and then work your way through it because then if you want to have your crease a bit more going on, then you can certainly do that and just keep adding bits in all the time. I just think it's a really good tip to have when you're doing smoky eyes. And I always go lightly as well. I never go too harsh. I just sort of, in a sense, let the brush do its work, but I'm just guiding it to the place that I want it to go to. And we're starting the smokiness process. So I'm gonna go in with all those transition shades I've been using previously and just to get that um, crease colour back up again because after using a bit of that brown I feel like I just need to reawaken the crease a little bit and give it a bit more browns to it and then I'm gonna go in with concealer again and I'm just gonna put it on the lid I've not really done this before so this is a new thing this is why I need a few hours but I'm just gonna put it on my middle lid and then I'm just gonna go for a flat head brush put it all over the lid just so I've got a really nice base for my lid color to go on just make it that a little bit more potent so I'm gonna go in with the Bratz eyeshadow palette the Yasmin edition and I'm gonna go for this shade here, Crown, and I'm just gonna put that on the lid where I just put my concealer. And again, you can just put a little bit on just to see how much you want on, and then if you want a bit more on than you can, if you don't, then you don't have to. But I just always find that I end up building as I go along. I'm gonna go in with Beauty Mark at the bottom here. And if you are following this tutorial as well, don't feel like that you have to have these absolute same palettes or be dipping into different palettes to get the look. You can just use one palette, which I'm sure a lot of people do. I just like to go in with different palettes just because that's just my personal preference. And I'm just going to take a clean blending brush and smooth it out a little bit so it's not so potent. So I'm going to put in a bit of black as well in the inner corner just to really deepen up the outer corner. So I'm going to go in with the Too Faced Chocolate Gold palette now and just use this black shade at the top just to go in my outer corner because I really want my eyes to pop. But I'm not going to put too much on, literally just the tiniest bit. And then just use a clean blending brush and just work that in. And then I'm gonna go in with some transition shades, do a little bit more just working with that. I'm not gonna film that just because you've seen what I've done, but I'll show you the finished product in a moment. Okay, so I've gone and done the rest of my eyes on camera and I did also use another shadow palette. Surprise, surprise. But this is the Fenty Beauty one and I went in with this shade down here just to put it on top of my eyeshadow lid that I did earlier. And now I'm just gonna go and smoke it out underneath a little bit. So how I'm going to do that is all the colors that I put in my crease, I'm going to mix it all together just to get a nice little build up underneath. And then that will really help to smoke it out. If you do get any fallout as well, don't worry because you can literally just clean yourself up after and then you can do the rest of your foundation and whatnot and have to cover it all up. So. 
here we go another tip okay so that part is done i'm going to do an inner corner shade now i'm going to go back in the yasmin palette i'm going to do a bit of inner piece and a bit of flaunt it and that's just going to brighten up my eye a little bit so now moving on to the liner i'm using three different products for this so i'm going to start off with doing my eyelid liner first and i'm going to use the super cat liner by soap and glory i think this is now discontinued how i do this is normally i start in the middle and then work my way outwards and then bring it back into the middle just following the shape of my eyelid and then i start from the inner corner and work my way outwards just to join it all up and then any bits that aren't quite to the lash line i just go back and fill in And now I'm going to go in with my exact eyeliner by Revolution and just put that on my waterline. One of my friends asked me before, how do you just do that each time you do it? And honestly, it's just from where I'm just so used to it. It's just second nature to me now. Okay, so that bit done. And now I'm going to go in with a liquid liner and this is by NYX. And I'm just going to draw out my wing this could take some time so what i'll do is i'll just film this side for you and then i'll do my other side off camera just to show you um how i do it i don't have too much on my brush to start with i just have the right amount just so then i'm able to draw a line so i draw it all the way out and then sort of fade it at the end and then i just go back in the middle and then join it up with the liner liquid eyeliner and trying to do a winged liner perfectly is so annoying sometimes and so fiddly but it just takes practice and yeah I'm quite happy with that how that's turned out so now I'm going to do the other side off camera hopefully it matches but if it doesn't hey ho that's just how it turns out um but yeah I will show you that in a minute okay so I've just done my other liner to match it's pretty much spot on i'm now going to go in with mascara first i'm going to get some primer this is the lash Pri primer primer by collection and just put that on my lashes before i go in with mascara i prefer doing this than to wearing false lashes i did debate whether to just get false lashes but i don't know i don't know what it is about false lashes sometimes i'm like oh yeah i'll do it it's not very often mine like i never really wear false lashes and i think oh do you know what just treat myself and i was gonna do it this time because this is my first outing in a while i just find them a bit too fiddly and if i can get my lashes looking fluttery and whatnot without lashes then even better and that's exactly what i'm going to do today so i'm going to go in with the stretch it out mascara by revolution just put that on in the top of where i put that primer and then just to zhuzh it up a little bit more i'm going to go in with some waterproof mascara and just do it over the top so this is the this is a tongue twister i swear lash surge false lash effect mascara now i'm just going to put it on my bottom lashes as well and then just on my bottom waterline i'm going to go in with a brown liner and then just give it a nice natural smoke at the bottom Next, we're going to move on to the fifth and get that all primed and ready. So I'm gonna go in with the 24K Gold by Revolution Pro and use this as my primer for today. I've already put moisturizer on my face. Don't forget to moisturize, guys, very important. Oh, that smells really nice, actually. I'm gonna put it on my neck as well just because I'm going to be putting foundation on there. So now I'm going to go in with the number seven Protect and Perfect Intense Foundation. This is the one with the SPF 50 plus in it and it's in the shade Sand. So I'm going to put some on a brush and work that in. Then I'm also going to use a beauty blender. So this I believe is the dupe for the IT Cosmetics foundation because I think normally the IT cosmetics version is i want to say about 30 ish pound maybe a little bit over and this was only 17.50 so 
that won me over straight away. And this is medium coverage as well. And now I'm gonna go in with the Beauty Blender and put a bit more on. I wet my sponge with Fixing Spray, same one I used earlier from Revolution. And then just start blending that all in. I always find that a tedious job though, foundations. Like I love it once I know that I've got the right shade, but trying to find the right shade in the meantime, oh my goodness, it's like trying on a pair of jeans. Trying to find the right pair of jeans that fit you. Sometimes you end up for hours trying to find it. And this blended quite nicely on my skin as well, which is lovely. And we are very glowy, look at that. Whew. I think it's from that primer. I think that primer's done all that glowiness. Moving on to concealer, I'm gonna be using my new one. This is the Eye Bright Illuminating Under Eye Concealer Medium Night with Vitamin C, and it's by Revolution Pro. And I think this is a dupe for the Maybelline concealer. Another tip, so if you're doing a dramatic eye look like this one, when you do the eyes first, you can then go over it with concealer later on, and then you can just put it underneath where you put your winged liner, clear up any mishaps you might have had. Yeah, normally I don't put this amount of concealer on. <laughs> Honestly, I don't. It's the first time using this product. I didn't quite realize just how much product came out. <laughs> Whoops, oh well, we'll just blend it in. That blends in very nicely. That's what we like, a good blendability factor. Already I can see this look coming together really nicely. I'm really happy with it. Okay, now for powder because I am very glowy, like very glowy. So I'm gonna go in with my Imagination palette that has got the powders in it. This is my go-to for when I do my powders and a bit of bronzing, contouring going on. Dip it all in and just place that over the top just to dab down the shininess just a little bit because for me it's just a little bit too much. I'm just gonna go in with a uh, damp blending sponge again and just make sure it's just not too much powder. So it looks more natural now, like a natural glow rather than too matte or too overglowed. Okay, so moving on to brows next. I'm gonna use the XX Fine Brow by Revolution and I'm also gonna use a bit of the gel brow liner. Okay, so I'm going to start with the gel liner and all I'm going to do is just put a few bits just to start with in the middle and then work my way outwards. And then I'm just going to get an angled brush and then all I do with this is just follow the shape of my brow. Mine are naturally arched. Again, I don't put too much of this on because I like my brows to look more natural rather than big slugs going on just because I find that that just is not for me, it just doesn't really suit me and I just prefer to have natural looking ones. And then I'm just gonna go in with the fine brow. Now this is a little bit lighter than the gel that I've just put on. And with this, I just take it from the beginning of my brow and then just fill in the spaces. So a little bit like a coloring book and I do it really softly as well. I don't go too heavy on it. I literally just lightly drag it. That's how I do my brows. I'm just gonna go in and do the other one and I'll see you in a minute. Okay, contouring. So I always like to cream contour and then apply powder on top just to set it. So I'm gonna go in with the Infallible Stick by L'Oreal, it's a foundation stick, but I use this shade Ebony just as a little bit of cream contour. And I just go in the hollows of my cheeks around my forehead. Again, I don't do too much just in case. I do it and I think, oh no, I shouldn't have done that. And then just start blending it in. A few friends have asked as well how to contour because they'd love to know how to do it, but they haven't got a clue. But to be honest, like everybody does things in their own way. I mean, this is how I do mine just because it works for me. And again, it's just something that I've just picked up along the way. So for me, that's probably enough cream. I'm just gonna go in with some powder now just to set it on top. I'm just gonna go in with the Imagination palette again and mix a few of the contour shades in between just to set my cream contour. Again, I don't tend to put too much on this, just a little feather, so to speak, and then just work my way up to the forehead, down, and then just to meet in the hollows of my cheeks. 
eight and that's it. That's me contour done. So I haven't gone too extreme. I've literally just lightly put it on. So this is from the Rachel Leary collection. Oh, look at that. Look how shiny it is. That's really pretty. So this is the golden hour highlighter. Look at that. That is so pretty. I can't wait to put that on my face. So just a highlighter brush. And let's see what we get. Pretty. Yeah, that's really pretty. It's really nice. I like that. Bit of blush now. So going to use the new blush palette I got from Revolution. And I'm going to go in with that one here, just to give a bit of colour on my cheeks. I'm going to prep my lips first, so I'm going to go in with the Bratz Collection Lip Scrub and Lip Balm. Mm -mm -mm. Definitely like a minty, vanilla-y smell. I'm just going to take a bit on my ring and finger and just put it on my lips. It looks a bit jelly-y. Ooh, that's different. And then I'm just going to take a cotton pad and just wipe it all off. Okay, my lips feel quite nice and smooth now. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with the first lip product and that is the lip liner. Again, haven't used these yet, so it's all brand new. Look at that packaging, isn't it beautiful? I'm just going to get the plumping lip gloss and add that on top. Gosh, look at the size of it. Massive. Now, I've heard tingling happens on this part. It does smell very minty as well. Wow, that is definitely tingling. Okay, so that's the makeup look all done. My lips are tingling like mad now, but I like that. I am loving this, I must admit. It turned out way better than expected. So I will show you the bronzing in the next clip and we will go from there. Okay, so we're going to bronze my body now. I've never done this, so this is gonna be very interesting. But again, we are dipping into the Rachel Leary products. We're gonna go in with the Golden Goddess face and body shimmer oil. I've never used these products before, so this is gonna be an all new experience for everyone here. So this is, the shimmer oil so I just watched the video back that she did on her products just to see how the best application is to go on it and from what I've gathered you just shake it apply it on where you want it and just use a body brush like that just to swim it over she said it's got a really nice smell to it as well so I can't smell it on there but I'll give it a go like proper gourd can you see and then just buff it and you're all over oh i've got that scent now like she said it smells vanilla-y oh that smells very lovely i like that and even just like feeling it now after it really doesn't feel sticky at all which is always something like i said in my last video that i don't tend to warm towards with body shimmels and that like it's just never been something i've ever really thought about being part of my makeup routine i can tell you that there is gold spark on there doesn't feel really sticky or anything like that it just feels really nice and smooth no, i like that it just gives you just like an extra sparkle going on i don't know if you can see a little bit in the light just there that little bit of highlight there really really nice smell texture just everything going on so that's a definite thumbs up from me i'm going to be definitely using this more i think i'm going to put some on here as well oh girl Definitely feeling like a bronze goddess. I love this. Problem is though, I'm gonna have that habit of just, sorry about the aeroplane noise. I'm just gonna have the habit now of just applying more and more, but you know what? I love that. That's a thumbs up from me from sure. I'll probably put a little bit more like that, but I don't tell you. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna go in with her powder as well. Comes with a shimmer puff and the Revolution logo on there. Right, okay, so there's already some product on there. Put it all on. I really don't think 
you need that much on. I've literally just put on the tiniest bit. This lash though, the girl is feeling like a bronzed goddess at the moment, which is exactly what we wanted with this video. Should we try it? I know I've put lip products on anyway, but I think we could give it a little bit more of a shimmer. So let's try a little bit of her lip gloss as well. I'm just gonna put it over the top of what I've used. I have since with my lippy just um, blotted it on some tissue just so it wasn't so much. Oh, that's proper like, I love the noise as well. I don't know if you can really hear that, but yeah, let's put that just a little bit over the top and see what we get. That smells nice as well. What does that remind me of? That reminds me of something, something that I like to eat. I'm going to get high on lip gloss in a minute. That reminds me of something. What does it remind me of? It definitely reminds me of something that I love eating but I just can't put my finger on what it is but yeah that's the lip gloss on that's a really nice pretty shimmery shade that's what it looks like on there so it's just it's got like a natural um color in it but then also a little bit of gold shimmer so that's what it's done on here and it looks really pretty we're done people I can't believe this is all done and dusted already this is the finished look I keep catching myself in the mirror at the moment and thinking oh, is it rich, is it rich? but do you know what we're going out out there we go, enough said. Thank you very much for watching, hope you enjoyed it, I definitely enjoyed getting ready, just oh, can't wait. I hope you enjoyed watching this as much as I enjoyed creating it, give this a massive thumbs up if you enjoyed it, comment down below on this look if you love it, any other looks you want me to do in the future. Take care of yourselves, have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you very soon. Take care!